A cordial greeting. Today is Monday, July 14, 2025. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia speaking. In this video I will be giving an update on a low-pressure system that is developed to the east of the state of Florida and is projected to move west and southwest over the next few days, bringing heavy rain across the Florida peninsula and also has a low probability of cyclonic development over the next seven days as it moves over the northern and northeastern Gulf of Mexico. So it is important for residents of Florida, Mississippi, Alabama, and Louisiana to be attentive to its evolution, as there is a possibility that a tropical storm could form by the middle or end of this week. Let's zoom in on the infrared satellite image, where we can see the area of rain and thunderstorms associated with the low pressure, which at the moment has not been designated as an invest, but it is likely that during today the National Hurricane Center will mark it as Invest 93. This will allow us to have specialized trajectory and intensity models to know more accurately where it is heading and with what intensity it could affect some southeastern states of the United States. Initially, this system will be bringing heavy showers across Florida with some risk of localized flooding. However, for now it is expected that it will not become a tropical cyclone before crossing over the state, and its future intensity as it approaches Louisiana, Alabama, or Mississippi will largely depend on how much it manages to organize over the next 36 hours. That is why we are paying close attention to see how the low pressure evolves. If the low pressure consolidates faster than anticipated, it could find favorable conditions for development in the northeastern Gulf of Mexico. In particular because sea surface temperatures in this area are extremely warm, between 30 to 31 degrees Celsius. And this is why the National Hurricane Center at 2 a.m. maintains a 30% probability of cyclonic development for the low pressure once it moves into sectors of the northeastern Gulf of Mexico. And the probabilities of development will also depend on which path it takes, because if the system moves on a more northerly trajectory, it will be crossing near land areas, which can limit its development. However, if it moves further south, it could remain longer over the waters of the Gulf of Mexico and thus represent greater probabilities of development. We can analyze these different scenarios in the runs of the global models. Let's start with the American model where we have the low pressure to the east of Georgia and Florida. And notice that this model has a fairly northern track, with a lot of land interference, which eventually prevents a tropical cyclone from forming. On the other hand, we also have the European model, which also has a fairly northern trajectory, interfering with land areas and therefore has an opportunity to strengthen much before reaching Louisiana between Thursday and Friday. And this was in today's midnight run. But notice that yesterday afternoon the model had a stronger system, perhaps a tropical depression, while on the other hand we have the German model, which has a much more aggressive forecast. In this case, notice that over the next 36 hours it strengthens the low pressure more quickly before reaching Florida, and therefore results in better probabilities of development once it reaches the Gulf of Mexico. In fact, this model is being very aggressive and has a strong tropical storm or perhaps a Category 1 hurricane moving near or over southeastern Louisiana. And although this is a possibility, it is important to mention that at the moment the German model's projection is the least likely, especially because the best global models do not show such significant strengthening. So this is why I mention that it is important to see what happens over the next 36 hours, as that will determine the future intensity of this disturbance when it moves toward Louisiana, Mississippi, or Alabama. The UK model also shows some development, perhaps a tropical depression moving over southeastern Louisiana, but like the European and American models, it does not show significant development unlike the German model. Another reason why we believe the chances of a strong tropical storm or hurricane developing before reaching Louisiana are actually low, is that when we look at the ensemble members of the American model, basically none of them develop a tropical storm. In addition, we see the same in the European model's projection, none of them show a tropical storm. And with more consensus, we also have the projection of Google's artificial intelligence model, where some of them have a low pressure approaching Louisiana between Thursday and Friday, but they also do not develop a tropical storm. And the most likely scenario at the moment seems to be that it will remain a strong low pressure until it reaches Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama between Thursday and Friday. However, the chances of cyclonic development for now remain low, so I suspect that at 8 a.m. the National Hurricane Center will keep the development probabilities at 30% over the next seven days, Regardless of whether a tropical depression or tropical storm develops or not, rainy days are expected for the southern half of Florida and for areas of Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama. If we look at the projection of rainfall accumulations over the next five days, you can see that for much of central and southern Florida it is projected that between 2 to 3 inches of rain will accumulate, while for areas of Mississippi, Alabama, and southeastern Louisiana, between 2 to 4 inches. So here at Hurricane Info I will be monitoring the evolution of this low pressure and I will keep you informed of any changes that occur in the projections and forecast. 
So I invite you to like this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you stay informed and click on the bell so you get notifications when I record new videos. Well, with this I say goodbye. I hope everyone has an excellent start to the week. See you later.